So the key features of his bundle pacing in cardiac resynchronization therapy are that we are able to physiologically overcome the bundle branch block. This is in contrast to biventricular pacing where we produce two wave fronts that are non-physiological that then collide together to provide modest QRS duration reduction. By overcoming left bundle branch block, we can produce large QRS duration reductions with his bundle pacing. The way this occurs is by activating the conduction system of the heart, the his Purkinje system, and this can recruit fibres that allow rapid activation of the ventricles rather than the slow cell-to-cell -cell myocardial conduction that occurs with traditional ventricular pacing. So there are a number of potential advances, and this is what we explored in our study. His bundle pacing is a single lead um, resynchronization therapy, and therefore we could be reducing fluoroscopy time as well as procedure time for patients compared to biventricular pacing. We also don't need to access the coronary sinus so we can reduce their exposure to contrast, which is required in a biventricular pacing implant. Those are the technical implant-related benefits, but there are extra benefits that we explored in this study, and that is that his bundle pacing should be able to activate the ventricles physiologically, which is not the case for biventricular pacing. And this might result in rapid and physiological activation, which in theory would translate to a better hemodynamic response, and this is what we tested. Yes, we observed significant benefits with his bundle pacing over biventricular pacing in patients with heart failure and left bundle branch block, which have typically been the main indication for cardiac resynchronization therapy. First of all, by using electroanatomical mapping, we found that his bundle pacing produced a shorter activation time of the left ventricle compared to biventricular pacing. We then performed activation pattern mapping that showed that the activation of the left ventricle was more physiological than biventricular pacing. And both of these effects combined to find that his bundle pacing produced a better hemodynamic response than biventricular pacing in our study. So the crucial next step for translation to clinical practice is we need a randomized clinical trial now based on our data of testing head-to-head -head his bundle pacing versus biventricular pacing for patients with heart failure and left bundle branch block. Our data allows the sample size to be estimated to power such a trial. Now there are other improvements that need to be made for his bundle pacing, everything from patient selection through to implant tools such as sheaths and leads, batteries, as well as programming and algorithm settings on the devices themselves, these all do need work to be optimized and personalized for patients, as well as dedicated to his bundle pacing. However, for biventricular pacing, these improvements came alongside the randomized control trials, and that's what we want to see happen with his bundle pacing. We can develop the tools as well as start the clinical trials at the same time, and, we can, and both can inform each other. We can learn about patient selection from the trials, we can also learn about better future techniques from developing new tools.